Hello, this is It Came Cheap. Thank you for tuning in. This is Kenny here. And today, we're going to take a look at... Over the past couple of years, this has been kind of my hobby to go to flea markets and garage sales and things like that um, to shop for things. And it's kind of fun because you don't necessarily know what you're shopping for. You don't know what's going to catch your eye, what deals to be had. Sometimes you just can't pass it up. You know, it's better than, okay, I'm going to the store, I need a shower curtain, some towels, and a uh, toothpaste. Okay, well, I know what I'm going to get there. I'm going to go get toothpaste. I'm going to go get a shower curtain. I'm going to go get some towels. But, if you go to Goodwill and flea markets and things like that, you never know what you're going to come across. You're going to come across things you didn't know existed and things you have to have. Things you need to start collecting. Anyways... All right, so this has been my hobby the past couple of years. I'm going to take a look back, and I'm going to show you a few of my favorite items I've picked up over the past couple of years. And then we will take a look at what I picked up today. I hit up a little yard sale and a Goodwill. So let's take a look. Thank you. We're going to start off with the cheapest on the list. This. I ended up actually, I'm a bartender and started collecting. This is actually um, a bottle opener. Now, I don't know how effective it is or when this thing was made. It's got to be kind of old. Like, you could use that as a wine corkscrew, I guess, if you wanted. Um, but I don't know how efficient and effective this would be as a corkscrew slash bottle opener. But I found this at a yard sale for one quarter. And that's just one of the that's one of my favorite things. I got this a couple years ago and this pig's ass. I mean pig's ass bottle opener. Just for a quarter. That's an interesting conversation for years to come. Pig's ass bottle opener. Corkscrew. Yep, that's one of my favorites. Spotted this first and threw it out there. Picked this Freddy Krueger finger puppet. Now, they have put a couple staples in to staple it back, but I don't care. It's actually pretty good condition to be from the 80s. Uh, a Freddy Krueger finger puppet. It's horribly authentic. Um... That was one of my scary movies that I enjoyed as a kid. It's uh, iconic, Freddy Krueger. You know, I didn't know what I was going to find that day. I found a Freddy Krueger finger puppet. It's awesome. Now, you can probably find this on eBay. You can go to eBay and probably pick one of these up, and you're not going to spend a fortune. But, you got to admit, it's pretty freaking cool. Freddy Krueger finger puppet. We've got a little Mozart, little Wolfgang Amadeus, uh, like action figure guy. I had four dollars on it. I don't know. Is that a yard sale? I gave her a dollar for it. Beautiful woman had six beautiful children. Also loved cats. I mean, they tell you some pretty useless stuff about it. And then look, we've got little Ludwig Beethoven, little Wolfgang, little Johann, and little Frederick. But luck would have it. This day, they knew I was a Mozart fan. All right, so you gotta love it. We got a little Freddy on. This was only a buck at dirt cheap. It's kind of neat. It reminds me of something like that would be in a low budget movie that would try to show you the future. But you press the little thing and you've got the Knight Rider type time there. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. You know, it's like it wishes it was futuristic, but it's kind of just cheap. But you know what? I'm going to rock this. You want to know what time it is? It's the future. Don't know why, but that I, I like that watch. So far, $2, $3. So far, these favorite items cost me $3.25. All right, next up, 
Now these, as much as I like them, they are in great condition. I'm trading my buddy Johnny, and I gotta show you some of the stuff Johnny finds. I have to show you some of the stuff Johnny finds. We're gonna show you. He, he's a good friend of mine, and I'm trading him these, because I know he liked them. Uh, picked these up at Goodwill. It was a set. They then you're like, what? what is this thing? I don't know, but it's okay. We got this set. We got both of them here. It is like a walkie-talkie set that looks freaking brand spanking new. All the uh, accessories are there. Now, I looked these up on eBay. You could actually find them kind of... I mean, it wasn't incredibly hard. Maybe not in this condition. Because these are in great condition for being as old as they are. But you've got a set of old transistor walkie-talkie dealies. I mean, that's just... Like... It's retro, but it almost looks kind of futuristic. I don't know. That's killer. I just like the fact that it's in this good of condition after being that old. It's older than me. You know, these are cool. Somebody donated these, and it made my day. So we got some walkie-talkies. Yes. We're definitely going to go check out Johnny's uh, setup and some of Johnny's things because he's a bargain hunter as well. And he likes to find some interesting things. Uh, he's a friend of mine. Shout out to Johnny. Always looking out. It was at some sort of church yard sale. There was like different families involved. Um, you know, someone took time to, to put this thing together. It's like handmade. Um... So, hey, if someone spent all that time making this thing, it's it's definitely worth a dollar, don't you think? Even if I'm not sure what it is, we're gonna let, gonna let you try to take a look here. Now, something is gonna go in this jar and it looks like it might dispense down here. And you pull that out and there's a little hole there. So, I mean, what can you... You tell me, what is this thing? Is it an M&M dispenser? You can put some peanuts in it or something? You could put peanuts in it? Or I was thinking gumballs, maybe. Gumballs, you don't even have to pay a penny. You just pull it out, and there's a little gumball machine that somebody kind of made. You know? I thought it was clever. Never really knew this existed or had seen something like this. And when you find it for a dollar... By golly, you jump at that opportunity. Just handmade, interesting piece. Think about all the interesting conversations we can have about this piece. Or all the little gumballs or peanuts we could share. I've never tried to fill it up or use it. But that's one of my favorite items. All right, finally, we got two more. Now, it's hard to pick a favorite. It's very hard to pick a favorite, especially because this next one is so freaking awesome. You may have seen it in the background. You may have seen it in the background, but we have an in-the-box Pee Wee Herman doll. Let's check them out. He talks. Oh, come on. I mean, Pee-wee's Big Adventure, one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, Big Top Pee-wee, not so good. Pee-wee's Playhouse, pretty good. You've got Pee-wee's Playhouse um, characters on the box here. So it was just neat. I remember seeing this... Um, on Facebook or something, when I was looking at the garage sale, I was like, I gotta get out there. And it was only 20 bucks. Now this version actually is kind of a replica or a remake. This one came out in 2001. There's actually an older one that came out with a pull string from 1987. But they basically look the same. And, you know, I don't much care the difference. But how can you top P. 
Pee Wee? How can you big top Pee Wee? I mean, we're talking Pee Wee. We're talking Pee Wee. I mean, oh, this was a dream find. I had to have it. So what could top Pee Wee? There's one other thing, and you may have seen it. I'm going to make him my sidekick, but I didn't know this existed. Back in the day, in the 80s, they had this doll called Teddy Bruxpin. It was a bear that you could stick cassette tapes in. And it would kind of sing along. Well, they apparently made one of my iconic favorite sitcom stars into one of these things. I was a big fan of this guy growing up. More like the cartoons and the little kids books. Well, I wasn't into the sitcom that much, but I, I just, as a kid, I like this uh, character here. And you, this is probably my favorite item that I found. My favorite item that I've found. Because I already had an elf doll that's a little smaller than this guy. But this thing takes cassette tapes and can kind of sing along. Look, I've got them turned down, but let's see. This is eyebrows and everything. Here we go. All right, so those were a few, you know, just a few of my favorite items I've gathered over the past couple of years, a couple of my greatest hits. Hope you enjoyed them. Now, let's cut to the present and see what we picked up today. I hit up a yard sale in Goodwill. Uh, just picked up a few things. To um, this flea market that I frequent near my house. And this woman literally was like, okay, you might be interested in this. So, I don't know. There's a big old stack of them here. But I'm going to just fill this up with some DVDs. You know, this cost me nothing. It was dug out of the dish. This was three bucks. Why not have a little library? <laughs> All right. These I got um, a few weeks back. This case here. This case I picked up today. All right. And at the same yard sale, it's a incense burner. But... I mean, it was $2. I don't know why. This guy caught my eye. This guy caught my eye. But this guy was $2. Apparently, you stick incense in his chest or the little cones on his plate. Or you, you know, you put your weed in it. But not really any markings or anything. I just thought this enlightened Asian man looked cool. I hope you do too. All right, so they got that at the yard sale for two bucks. And then finally, hey, if the movie's pretty good, two dollars, I mean, two dollars. Used to rent movies, it costs more than that. Well, this is a classic and it tis the season. We've got the Muppet Christmas Carol Disney movie, classic. So we picked that up for a couple bucks. All right. So that was the yard sale. Then, a little later in the day, I ended up going to Goodwill. I also found, and this was separate than these other little kids gloves they had in there, and I think they were asking more for those. But to me, this looks fairly clean and good shape. We could oil it up a little. But this was five bucks. Um, and the thing is, it's for a lefty. And I'm a lefty. Maybe that's why it was a little cheaper, but... You know, my grandpa was a ball player. I don't know when there's going to be a pickup game of softball. I don't know when I'm going to start the fall league of softball. But I figure I better have a glove. But yeah, I used to play baseball as a kid. 
doesn't hurt to have. I think this might be like a first baseman's glove, but I like it. And I'm a lefty. Interesting side note, I actually played my first few years of Little League, two or three years of Little League, where, because every, you know, they just gave me a glove and I put it on the hand that it was supposed to go on, and I threw right-handed. Even though it was a little uncomfortable, I could do it, I could get by, it wasn't horrible throwing right-handed. But one day I'm out playing catch with my dad, um, after playing a couple seasons, Little League, and I'm like, you know what, Dad? It, it's almost a little more comfortable if I throw with this arm. And so, after throwing the ball just a couple times, he's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're left-handed. You need to throw with your left hand. Um, I'm just a dummy, and it took me a couple years to figure it out. But there's a little adjustment. I still bat right-handed. I'm a little ambidextrous. I'll swing right-handed, I throw a frisbee right-handed, but I would bowl and kick left-footed, left-handed. Uh, I'm all over the map. Baseball glove, five bucks. It's a Wilson. And finally, right, finally I ended up picking up this guy because it was new, there was tags in it. It's just a, uh-oh, there's like a tag in it. It's just a, um, it's almost like a piece of luggage, but it's like a beach cooler or cooler. And there's some room in there. Like, you can fit some stuff in this thing. And what I like is it has, like, that luggage handle and the luggage kind of wheels. So, you, know, you can take that to the beach. You, you could do a lot with it. You can fit a lot of stuff in this cooler. And uh, it was 9 bucks. So, finally, that's what we got at Goodwill. That's what caught my eye. I might give it to my dad because I feel like I've st stolen a cooler or two of his that were maybe not as cool as this one. But, all right. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in, checking out the deals of the day and the deals of years past. I appreciate you watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Share it with a friend or something. Because, you know, I'd like to grow a little bit. Um, but that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Will you find the awesome deals that I find?